The organization, or org structure, is a tree structure made up of individual org units that are arranged in parent-child relationships. This tutorial provides an example overview of a basic org structure and its org units while discussing how you can use this structure to organize your K-12 school board and D2L learning environment. This is an example of a basic org structure. The organization, department, course template, and course offering org units are required. All other org units are optional ways to define the tree structure. We will discuss each org unit individually. First, we will discuss the organization org unit, which is highlighted in orange. The organization org unit, also known as the My Home page in D2L Learning Environment, is the highest level of the tree structure and represents your entire school board or school. At this level, you can define elements that will be common to all users throughout the entire school, such as the default home page. For this example, we look at the org structure for the fictional Riverside School District. Next, we'll look at custom org units. You can use custom org units to create an additional level or levels of structure between the organization and department org units. For example, custom org units could divide the organization into schools or regions. These optional org units can be in a hierarchy or parallel to each other. If you have multiple schools within a school board, it can be helpful to divide your org structure by these locations if they have a unique set of course offerings. For example, the Riverside School District is made up of both elementary and high schools. The custom org units further subdivide these school types into the Applemont and Wingate schools. Departments are mandatory org units that divide the org level or custom org units. Department org units organize courses and learners within the overall tree structure. You can define these org units however you'd like. For example, a department org unit can represent a subject or grade level. In this example, the department org units depict the grade levels that are taught within the school, grades 5, 6, and 7. Next, we will discuss course templates. Course templates add an extra level of structure between departments and course offerings. They act as a container that collects related course offerings. Note, course templates and course offerings have a parent-child relationship. Course offerings must be the child of a course template. For example, there are two types of classes, Grade 5 Core and Grade 5 Music. Course templates group together course offerings that fall within these categories. Next, we will discuss course offerings. Course offerings are the courses in which learners are enrolled and where they access their learning materials. In general, a course offering is populated by instructors. Learners access course offerings from the organization homepage using the course selector on the minibar. In this example, the Grade 5 core class has a Fall 2015 offering with Ms. Smith. You can further subdivide course offerings into sections. Sections allow administrators or instructors to subdivide a course offering into multiple sections. This is especially useful for dividing large class lists into more manageable units. In this example, the course offering is subdivided into two sections to divide the students by the time of day at which they are taking the course. Groups provide an additional layer of organization to the tree structure. Groups divide a course offering for the purpose of group work. You can create multiple categories for groups and enroll learners into one or more groups. Note, sections divide the class list into distinct chunks. Groups allow organized collaboration. In this example, the class is divided into two collaborative groups for an in-class assignment. Finally, we will discuss semesters. Semesters are an optional org unit. You can use semesters to divide course offerings into time-based categories. Dividing course offerings into semesters allows administrators to search for course offerings that are being offered within a specified time period. For this example, the org structure depicts the course offerings for the 2016-2017 school year. 
Org structures are flexible in their composition. You can custom make org units to best fit your school board or school's purpose. This is an example of a default organization structure. You can customize additional org units to structure your school or school board. As a best practice, contact the D2L implementation consultants to design and create the ideal organization structure.